Okay, today we are at Freedom CNG here in uh, the Midland Odessa area. And uh, we're over here with our Hylion CNG Freightliner Cascadia. And we're gonna buy some natural gas for our tanks with the company fuel card. So first thing you do is turn off the truck and we're gonna come to this door, uh, which is where our ports are. Now I've already removed the dust cover. This is the dust cover for the larger port. This particular natural gas station does have the fast fill large connect. And we're basically gonna take this off and connect it here right now. Okay, so it's pretty easy to take out of the uh, little holder here. And uh, what you're looking for is this. This is what's gonna lock it on there. You're gonna kind of twist it when you get it on there. And that's gonna lock it into place. So we're going to the larger port, connect it, and then a little twist, and you can even hear it go. But that's okay, because we have to put our fuel card in first. Now what happened right there when it made that noise is that the, the actual pump is reading the pressure that's already in the tank so it knows when to shut it off. So you just put it on there, you flip the handle about 180 degrees and you're good to go. So now all we have to do is put in uh, our fuel card information and we should be good to go. Now, as you guys can see here, it's pretty simple. So we're off the holster, we're on pump six, we're connected, we're ready to go. It's reading our pressure and basically it's start and stop. So pretty simple. So I'm just gonna put in my card information now. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna block that card. I don't want you guys to see the card information, but basically I just put my card in there. Okay, and then it's gonna just prompt us as to what to do, it's processing. And we'll put in our unit number. I just came from delivering a load at the well, so my hand's a little dirty here. And we'll press enter. And then it'll ask us to please wait. I'm trying the server, it's connected. And then it wants the odometer. Looks like we have 91,621. I almost lost you guys there. There we go. 91621. Let's press enter. Okay. And it requires the hub. I'm just going to put that in again. Okay. Do we want a receipt? Sure. Why not? We'll take a receipt today. And we're approved. So pump number six is ready. That's us, pump number six. We're connected. The lever is down so that we know that we're on there nice and good. See, we're ready to go. And all we have to do is press start. Now while that's pumping back there, I'm gonna hang out over here by the emergency shutoff valve. That's in case something goes wrong, you kinda just boom, you're gonna punch that little red thing right there. But uh, everything's going fine. And what is supposed to happen is the pump is should cut off, it should cut off uh, when the tanks are full, which should be around 3600 PSI. We have 2000 PSI right now. So we're just gonna hang out and wait and make sure that the pump starts slowing down or stops at that level. Um, and if you hear it kind of going and then not going, that's normal. That's part of the normal process. And if you don't want to look, there's a PSI gauge right there as well. It's a li little bit uh, easier to read because it's digital. 
opposed to looking at this needle, but it is important to check that they are similar. You don't want one to say 3,000 and the other one says 2,500. If that was the case, uh, you may not want to try and fill the tank all the way up in case there's a problem. And how about that price, huh? It's a lot better than diesel. Wow, talk about a discount. <laughs> And as always, if uh, any of you have a CDL Class A license and you want to make a lot of money this summer, come on down to West Texas, fill out an application for Detmar Logistics, and don't forget to use driver code DMG. Uh, if you do that and you start working here before the end of February 2022, I'll give you $300 of my referral bonus. Not to mention the $2,000 sign-on bonus you'll get as a company driver and six thousand dollars if you're an owner operator okay almost there we got about a thousand psi more to go before we reach a full tank and that looks about right over here too a little bit lower on the uh on this gauge here but um we're eyeballing it but we also want to trust that the pump knows because the pump can read the pressure in the tank so the pump's going to know better than we know So I'm really seeing it slowing down here. It's not pushing too much. I do see the stop sign blinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it. Okay, there's our sale amount. Gasoline gallon equivalent. It stopped, we're just waiting for this to go away, or it's probably time for us to take off the nozzle. Now I was told that the tanks can hold 3600 PSI, but you can't always guarantee that that's correct. Also, this is my first time doing this, so I think it's safe to say, hey, let's take 2600 and, and stop it. The pump was really slowing down. The tank can read the pressure. This pump can read the pressure in my tank. So it really started slowing down as we were approaching 2600, so I said, hey, I'm going to trust the pump here, and um, we'll see once we get out of here, get down the road. 2,600 is PSI is plenty. Uh, let's see what it is when we actually get back in the truck, but maybe the tanks are full. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to disconnect now. I do see here on the pump that it does say 3,600. That is the max. But um, because this is my first time doing it, and I felt that resistance there, and it was slowing down, I wasn't too sure, and I was like, I'm going to trust the pump. So I just cut it off at 25. I can always come back here and get more fuel. 2,500 PSI, 2,600 PSI is plenty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this lever back counterclockwise. There it goes. Push it in, pull it back. Push it in, pull it back. It helps to, uh, to loosen it because uh, there's kind of like a snap connect in there. So once you pull back the lever, you kind of want to push it in and just pull it back, and it comes right off. And now it's printing our receipt. And there we have it. There's our receipt. Now, before we go, it's very important that we do two things. One is we have to put the dust cover back on here. So let's do that right now. There you go. All set to go. There's a manual shutoff valve here too, um, I guess in case of an emergency, but uh, I would assume if you're uh, pumping here, the, the main thing would be to uh, shut it off there. I think you would want to turn that valve if you can hear or notice a leak in one of these tanks here. That would probably be a time to hit that valve, flip that valve right there, and stop the fueling process. Okay, so let's close up the door. All set, good to go. We got our receipt, and um, we're going to be on our way. So uh, I'll let you guys know uh, how that worked out. Um, if uh, I should have put in more, if I should have waited. Um, I've heard people say that sometimes it'll stop pumping, and the best thing to do is just wait. You just, you just wait, and it'll continue to pump. But this was my first time doing it. I saw it slowing down to 2,600 PSI. I said that's plenty of fuel. So I was happy with that. I decided to hit the stop button take it off 
Uh, I'll come back tomorrow, the next day, whenever, whenever I need fuel again. And maybe I'll try and get it up to 3,000. But uh, I wasn't really sure. So I did the smart and safer thing. I said, you know what? I'll just turn it off. I'm pretty sure it's 3,600. Uh, the pump was probably slowing down. It was probably going to repressurize and put, put the rest of the fuel in. But 2,600 is good with me. See you guys soon. DMG, back to work.